know what are linear equations does anybody know mangal equation mam equations like with variables like x and y okay, the equations with variables uh, okay that means do you know what are linear equations uh, yeah we did them with 16th sum okay speak a little loudly mam we did them with 16th sum i can't show you mam we did in mam we did in 16th sum you didn't do it in 6th and 7th mam we did it you did it yeah so what is linear equations okay see i'll tell you what happens uh, in the previous classes you must have gone through the algebraic expressions right what were the algebraic expressions now basically like uh, we have a uh, 4x or i have 2y or i have 3z these are all algebraic expressions now what is x y and z x y and z are variables right and what are 4 2 and 3 these yeah. are constants right now what is the difference between variables and constants basically variables are the values uh, which can be changed okay and constants are the values which won't be changed right like 4 2 and 3 now if you have written 4x so in 4x 4 will remain fixed but x can be varied x can be any number okay x can be 1 2 3 4 i don't know what is x but x can be anything so x is called a variable because its value can be changed and 4 is called a constant because its value remains constant it does not change okay do you uh, now understand the meaning of variable and constant yes ma'am okay now we i'll give you various examples okay first of all you need to identify that which of the following is a le okay now the chapter is linear equations so like i can say 4x plus 1 is 3 so this is an equation okay i clearly know that this is an equation now when can i call it a linear equation why why am i calling it a linear equation ma'am yeah, because we had to do it you have to do it i didn't understand the answer and yeah, like we had to find the answer we had to find it i my question is why am i calling it as linear what is linear over here what is the meaning of linear linear means is like more than one variable one more than one equation is there is it more than one equation as fun or is it one equation one equation yeah so that doesn't make sense at all linear means okay what is the variable over here what is the variable in this uh, equation x x is the variable right so if you consider x what is the power of x the power of x is 1 now whenever the power of the variable is 1 okay that is when we call the equation as linear equation now if i write another equation i say 4y square plus 2 is 5 now over here what is the variable y square y y square is the variable now what is the power of y power of y is 2 which is more than 1 right so whenever the, so the, is this a linear equation no not a linear equation why because linear equations are basically those equations where the variable has the highest power of the variable is 1 okay you understand it Yeah. I'll write a few questions for you. You have to tell me whether they are variable, uh, linear equations or not. Okay, these are the some equations. Tell me, are they linear or not? Ma'am, um, two x is linear. 2x plus 1 is also linear. 3y minus 1 is linear. 12 minus 5 is also linear. Uh, 5 by 4 into x minus 4 is linear. 
And so x minus four plus ten is also equal. Okay. So Ramin, do you understand that these are all linear equations? Yeah. Okay. Now, if I write examples of you, uh, like I have x square plus one, then I have y plus y square, then I have one plus z plus z square plus z cube. These are three equations. Are these linear or not? No. No. Why? They all and have. They all have the power more than one. See, all the variables here have power more than one. Okay, so they are not linear. Do you understand? Now, now we should know how to solve linear equations. For example, I have to solve two x minus three gives me x plus two. What is the meaning of solving? Now, like we have to find x. Yeah, whenever we have to find the Solve means to find the value of variable. Okay, this means to solve. Understood? So over here we have two x minus three gives x plus two. So what we have two x minus three x plus two. So how will you solve? Your approach will be uh, just. Bring all the terms which have the variable. We have four terms. We have two x, we have three, we have x and two. So what are the variables? We have two x and x. So bring them closer together. So we can just transpose x over here. So you'll have two x minus x, and it will give you two. And this three, just take it over here. So two plus three. When you transpose numbers to the next side, you reverse their signs, right? So what is two x minus x? It is x. And what is two plus three? It is five. That means the value of x is five. Okay. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now next we have. You have to solve five x plus seven by two gives you three by two x minus fourteen. So how will you do? I'll I'll do this one for you. So you should find the LCM, right? What are you saying? Should we find the LCM now, right? Okay, wait, Aswan. Let me explain first. And when I'll give you the questions to solve, then you have to solve them. Okay. So like first one is five x. Is there any denominator over here? No. But all some other terms have denominator. So what you can do is first of all eliminate the denominator. How will you eliminate the denominator? First of all, put a denominator as one where there is no denominator. Now you have one, two, two, and one as the denominator. What is the LCM of one and two? LCM of one and two is two. So whatever your LCM comes out, just multiply all the terms with the LCM. Multiply with the two. Now we can simplify. First. Okay, how will you do? Like you will have two into five will give you ten x. Plus two and two will be cancelled. You will have seven. Now two and two will be again cancelled. You will have three x. Then you will have twenty eight. Okay. Now three x you will transpose and it shall come over here. So ten x minus three x. Right. Then this seven shall be transposed over here. So minus twenty eight minus seven. Okay, what is ten x minus three x? It is seven x. And what is minus twenty eight minus seven? It is minus thirty five. Thirty five. No, minus thirty five. Then x will be equal to minus thirty five divided by seven. So your answer shall be minus five. Clear? Yeah. This is how you are going to solve the equations. Now I will give you a few questions to do.
you have a set of four questions please solve them Okay, so what are the answers? Has Ramesh also done? I want to ask her. Okay, do it, then we'll discuss. Let Ramesh also do. Mama, you finished it. Okay, so let's discuss. We have Amar is where in the class. So Amar, can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Put on your camera. Amar, put on your camera. Okay. So, Amar, first of all, it's important that you join the class on time. Most of the days you're joining class very late and you tend to miss whatever is being taught. I started with the chapter linear equations and I've taught how to solve an equation. I'll just explain you one example from here only. Okay, what are your answers, Asfan and Ramiz? Ma'am, first one, x is equal 18. to 18. 18. My second one, t is equals to 1. Yeah. Third one, x is equals to 2. Yes. And fourth one, z is equals to 1. Okay, so let's check. So first one is 3x give you 2x plus 18. So how can you check? Basically, 3x minus 2x you will do. You will transpose this 2x over here. So it becomes minus 2x uh, gives you 18. Okay, so 1x gives you 18. Correct. Then you have, you will transpose this over here. So you'll have 5t minus 3t gives you minus 5 plus 3. So you'll have 2t gives you minus 2. 
So T gives you minus one. Okay, it's not one. It's minus one. Wrong. Both of you have done wrong. It's minus one. Okay. Then you will have three x will be transposed over here. Five x minus three x is two x will give you five minus nine is minus four. So x is minus two. Again wrong. It's minus two and not plus two. Don't you guys know the sign convention? I forgot about that method. You need to remember it. Four z minus two z is two z, and six minus three is three only. What have you done over here? How come your answer is one? So z what will be equal to three by two. Yeah, three by two. I got that. Why have you given the answer one? Wrong. Ma'am, I got three by two. Yeah, good. It's three by two. So, and give you more questions. Amar, you also do these questions now. Two x minus one will give you fourteen minus x. Eight x plus four gives you three. X minus one plus seven. X will give you four by five. X plus ten. And finally, two x by three plus one gives you seven x by fifteen plus three. So all these questions. Just give me a minute.
finished. Okay, what are the answers? Um, I'm the last one. Uh, Amar, what about you? I'm on the last one. Okay. Okay, so what's the answer for first one? No, first one, x is equal to 5. 5. All of you are getting 5 only? Yes, ma'am. Let's check. So you have 2x plus x will be 3x. Uh, 14 plus 1 will be 15 and 3 5. Okay, so x 5. Correct. Now, this one? Um, x is equal to 4 by 5. X um, I, I got 6 by 5. 6 by 5. Okay, let's check. So, we have no. 8x minus 3x, which is 5x. And this gives you 7 minus 3 minus 4. It will be 0. Answer oh is 0. Why are you not getting 0? See, you have 8x minus plus 4 gives you 3 into x minus 1 plus 7. Okay? So you solve it, you will have 8x plus 4 gives you 3 into x is 3x minus 3 into 1 is 3 plus 7. Right? Then 8x minus 3x is 5x. And over here minus 3 plus 7 minus 4. Okay? So 5. What is this? This all? I got, minus, um, I got uh, 7 minus 4 minus plus 1. That's wrong. You have to multiply this. It's zero. X is equals to zero. The next, what are you getting? Amar, what are you getting for next one? You tell. Ma'am, I got 200. Speak loudly. Ma'am, I got 200. 200. Okay, let's check. So, over here, X is equals to, first you will multiply. So, you'll get 4X by 5. Plus 40 by 5. Okay, so 40 by 5 is basically 8. Then you'll do x minus 4x by 5 gives you 8. Then you can write 5 as the LCM. 5x minus 4x is x. So x is equals to 5 into 8 is 40. Your answer is 40. How come you're getting 200? Am I got 40? Amar, uh, why are you getting 200? Now I got 40, but like I got confused, ma'am. But I just wrote 40, but I don't know like the correct steps, ma'am. So, can you like explain it? I just now solved it. See, first you have to you have the statement, so you solved this step. How did you solve this step? You just multiplied so 4 by 5 into x is 4x by 5, and 4 by 5 into 10 is 40 by 5, then 40 by 5 is equal to 8. 
then you will carry this over here. So x minus 4x by 5 is equals to 8. Then you will take the LCM, you will have 5. Then you will have 5x minus 4x. What is 5x minus 4x? It is x. So x by 5 is 8. Then x is 5 into 8, which is 40. Right? Do you understand how I solved it? Yes, ma'am. Amar, what? Why did you got 200? Did you understand your mistake? Yes, ma'am. Okay, the next one, what are you getting? Ma'am, I think I made a mistake, but I got 15 by 6. What are you getting? 15 by 6. 15 by 6, okay. And everybody else? Uh, 15 by 6. Ma'am, I also got the same. 15 by 6. Okay, let's check. So you have 2x by 3. This you will carry. You will have minus 7x by 15. It will give you 3 minus 1. Okay. So here you will have 15. 10x minus 7x. It will give you 2. Okay. 3x by 15 gives you 2. So 3x will be equal to 2 into 15. Then x will be equal to 30 by 3 it will be equal to 10. So we don't have to find the LCM. I did find the LCM. LCM 15. Yes. How did we get the next? Where? No, ten X. Ten X. You took the LCM. Solve this.
Okay. Understood, everybody? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Can I give this type of question? What are you saying? Can I give like these types of questions, like two or four or three more? Yeah, of course, we'll practice. I give you time to just analyze this one. So, did you all analyze it carefully? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Okay. So, we shall move ahead. I'll give you a little more questions. Now you have 2y minus 5 by 3 gives you 26 by 3 minus y. And 10th one is uh, 3m gives you 5m minus 8 by 5. Okay? To solve these. Finish. Okay, what are your answers? For the first one, I got 31. Ma'am, first one, I got 31. Okay. okay. Um, 31 everyone is getting. Let's discuss. So, we have like 2y. Just give me a minute. Okay. 
So we have first you will take the LCM. Okay. So what you'll do, you have one over here and one over here. So LCM of three and one is three. So you'll multiply every number with three. So three into two by minus three into five by three gives you three into twenty-six by three gives you minus three y. Okay. Right? Yes. Then you'll have 6y minus 5 gives you 26 minus 3y. Okay. Now you can solve it. 6y plus 3y will give you 26 plus 5. Okay. So here it will be 9y and here it will be 31. Uh, then y will be 31 by 9. Why are you only getting 31? Not no, I got 31 by 9. No, I got 31 by 9. Yeah, so 31 by 9 is the correct answer. Okay. Next question we have is 3m minus 8. What was the question? 3m five. equals 5m minus 8 by 5. Okay. So you'll again take the LCM. It'll be 5. LCM so 5. Like Okay, uh, so now you'll have 15m gives you 25m minus 8, right? So 15m minus 25m will give you minus 8. So this comes out to be minus 10m gives you minus 8. Minus and minus will be cancelled and you'll have m gives you 8 by 10, right? Yes, yes ma'am, I got the answer. Okay, is that the answer? Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, minus 10m, right? Um, minus 10 f what are you saying you got m is equals to 8 by 10 no ma'am it is supposed to be minus 10 m right because minus 25 m is the largest i cancelled minus and minus there was minus 8 and minus 10 m so i cancelled and oh. both became positive okay okay now i'll teach you a few other type of questions where you will have to reduce them into the simplest form for example you have 6 x plus 1 by 3 plus 1 will give you x minus 3 by 6. Okay. Now we can simplify 6 and 3. Now what you'll do? You'll uh, again take the LCM. So LCM will be 6 and again you'll multiply the entire equation with 6. This one I'll solve it for you. Okay. So it becomes 12x plus 2 plus 6 gives you x minus 3, right? So, 12x minus x is 11x plus 8 gives you minus 3. 11x gives you minus 3 minus 8. 11x gives you minus 11 and finally x comes out to be minus 1, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay, now I'll give you a few questions. Uh, you can do them on your own. 5x minus 2 whole 2x minus 7 gives you 2 whole 3x minus 1 plus 7 by 2. Okay, this is the question. We solve it.
I don't understand the question. Could you explain? Uh, yeah, sure. See, how you're going to solve this is, like you'll have 5x. So first of all, you have denominator 2. So just multiply all of these with 2. So you'll multiply over here with 2, 5x minus 2, 2x minus 7 gives you 2 multiplied with 3x wait or you can do one thing first you solve it a little bit and then we'll uh, come to the numerator okay so you have 5x then you have minus 2 into 2 is 4x plus 14 okay then you have 6x minus 2 plus 7 by 2 right then you can solve it and you'll have x over here plus 14 gives you 6x minus 2 plus 7 by 2. Okay, now you multiply it with 2. So you'll have 2x over here plus 28 gives you 12x minus 4 plus 7. Right? So 2x, you can bring numbers over here. Plus 4 minus 7, 12x minus 2x. Right? So 28 plus 4 is 32 minus 7 gives you 10x. Uh, 32 only. Okay, what is 32 minus 7? 26. 25. 26. Minus. Okay, so x comes out to be 26 by 10. Got it? Yes. Just go through it once. Amara, are you able to understand? You're not responding. Yes, ma'am. Uh. Ma'am, in the third step, uh, can we uh, no, in the in the in the second, yeah in the first step, can we not uh, uh, can we not uh, plus the numbers at first only? Can we just separate them and go on with them? In the first step over here, this step. Yes, ma'am. Five so I, minus. Four. Are you talking about this? No, ma'am. 5x minus 4x. So I did solve it. See, I did solve it in the next step. 5x minus 4x, I wrote x. Saying, can you not solve it and just go with it? You mean to say, can we uh, multiply with 2 and not solve it directly? No, like I'm saying, instead of, uh, instead of uh, subtracting 5x minus 4x, just go on uh, going on with it in the next step also like that. Yeah, we can. You'll ultimately, you'll ultimately have to solve it. Na? See, why am I solving? See, Amar, I have to get my answer. So just solve anything that you can uh, solve in that step. Okay? Solve whatever you can see. Okay. Ma'am, so... Ma'am? Yes? Ma'am, after the second step, so we have to find the LCM and multiply the numbers with the LCM. Right? Yeah. Yeah. After the second step, I found out the LCM and multiplied. Right. Okay. So, are you guys able to understand whatever I taught you today? Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, also 32 minus.